my dad said, the way I saw the world was a gift. That I was different than everyone else. A great game we'd play was Reconnaissance Expedition. He told me to bring back something from every decade in the 20th century. I found something from every decade. Already? <laughs> you rock. I did read the book, and that did kind of give me a feel for the story. But I would say that Stephen was by far the most helpful source of anything during the filming, because he was amazing. He was always willing to help me with whatever questions I had, be they directly related to the production shooting, or be they just something general about his experience on 9-11, or filmmaking in general. And with children who have conditions like Asperger's, which the character has some manifestations of Asperger's syndrome. I mean, he was really helpful. After he died, I found this key in my dad's closet. He must have wanted me to find something. I definitely had some very experiences that I thought would be difficult that weren't actually. It's never going to make sense because it doesn't. But then there were some scenes that were surprisingly difficult. The scene where um, Oscar finds the true purpose of his key, that scene took four days to film. And it's majorly emotional, but in sort of a quiet, soft way. And that was very, very difficult for me to handle. But after four days, I think I got, I did an okay job with it. Was there really a sixth burrow? Well, this was anything. If you want to believe, you can find reasons to. What reasons? The clues, of course. What clues? What clues? The clues. The peculiar fossil record of Central Park. The, the incongruous pH balance of that reservoir. They're all amazing actors and amazingly kind people. And I was grateful to work with all of them, especially so because, you know, I'm a first-time actor. Since when does a first-time actor work with an amazing director and amazing actors? One special thing that I learned was that you have to stay in your character the whole time during a filming session. Like, you don't want to get out between takes, because if you get out between takes, you know, at the beginning of the next take, you have to spend time to get in while you're actually speaking or working. And that doesn't work so well, because your character needs to be a full person at all times. Your character is not, oh, a piece of you, a piece of your character, a piece from here and there. If that doesn't work. It has to be a full person in your body. Maybe everybody's looking for something. Do you think we'll find the lock? I'm not so sure either. Dad said, sometimes we have to face our fears. This is truly the most amazing thing. If things were easy to find, they wouldn't be worth finding. <laughs>